Today, I unpack my Morgan Press and get it set up on the table. Welcome to another episode. So my Morgan Press had been uh, packed in this packing crate. And uh, one way to get it out would be to get a bunch of people. It's about 350 pounds. I thought I'd see if I could use a crane, a, an engine hoist that I got from Harbor Freight. And as you can see, it worked. So what I'm going to show you is the process that I used to get it out of the crate and onto the table. This is the table for my Morgan Press. I have it upside down right now because what I'm planning to do is take off these slippery plastic pads and replace them with these heavy duty casters. These are Footmasters. And if I remember correctly, each of these is rated for 550 pounds, which is overkill. But one of the cool things about it is it has a mechanism that pulls out. So you can see what's happening is this is pushing the foot down. And what that will allow it to do is to ride on the plastic, uh, the, uh, the rubber, when it's just sitting in the position I want. And then once I want to move it, I just flip this switch to the other direction. And now it raises the pad. So that will then allow me to move it around on the casters from one place to another. One of the, uh, the goals that I have in this workshop is to try to put a number of things on uh, wheels to be able to try out different arrangements in the workshop uh, because I'm not really sure how I want things arranged at the moment. So I hear that uh, WD-40 is good at dissolving adhesive, so I'm going to get some WD-40 and see how it does. Okay. Alright, I'm going to let that sit for a little while and uh, come back and see how it does. Okay, so that cleaned them off pretty well. And uh, now it's time to uh, drill it. The battery died on my microphone, so I lost the audio for this section. Here what I'm doing is I'm setting the center point. I want the center point to be above the L part of the uh, channel and not include the extension so that uh, the weight is pretty much down on the center of the footmaster. Then I want to punch the holes uh, to create a starter for the drill. And I'm going to start with a small drill. I don't remember how large it was, but it was probably about uh, an eighth of inch or thereabout. Drilling is pretty straightforward, as you can see here. Uh, I don't know what the material is, but I'm sure it's some type of steel. The only thing I ran into is this with this particular chuck. It's sometimes difficult to get the drill really tight. And so about here, it starts to slip. And that's because it's getting near the bottom of the hole and it's starting to grab. So I just powered my way through. Now I'm switching to a step drill and I need a step drill because I want to drill the hole to about half an inch in diameter. And uh, this is a three and three eighths inch electric drill. So the th half inch hole is about the right size for the stud that I'm going to put into this hole. The uh, stud is a metric stud. I don't remember what size it is, but as I say, it's about half uh, an inch. So I'm just pulling it out so that I can test fit it in the, the hole to see how it is. And uh, As you can see, it doesn't quite fit, so I have to drill just a little bit more. And now, as you can see, it 
almost fits, so a little bit more. If I did this again, I would have gotten a, a step drill that had longer steps so that um, I could not, you know, drill it a little bit more easily. Okay, so that's drilled. And now the next thing is to put the stud into the footmaster. There's a uh, socket on the end, so I just grabbed a socket and uh, tightened it in place. I didn't have a wrench large enough to get it really tight, but once I put the nut on the bottom and tighten that up, it should be just fine. Then it was just a matter of flipping the table over. It's pretty heavy and I didn't want to uh, nick or damage the floor, so I'm doing it a little bit carefully. But as you can see, it uh, rolls around really nicely and it's all set. First thing I'm gonna do is take out these cross pieces, which are fortunately screwed in. Uh, the rest are, um, everything else is nailed together. And the battery died again on my microphone. One of the problems I'm having is I'm using rechargeable batteries and it seems like the battery indicator starts out showing full, but it really isn't. In any event, I'm taking out the cross beams as you can see here. And once I have the cross beams out, I'll be able to get the engine hoist in here with a sling to lift up the Morgan and be able to pull it out of the box uh, without having other people come over and help me. I certainly could have done this, but I was here in the morning on a weekday uh, waiting for the Frontier to come to uh, hook up the internet. And so I thought I'd give this a try and see how it worked, uh, doing it by myself before I re reached out to other people to ask for help. I think what I'm gonna try is putting two loops through here. Okay, so that way I can do one like this along here, something like that. And then I'll do another loop on the other side. <laughs> you know, I thought that uh, this would be plenty long. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to be. Uh, well, it'll probably just barely fit. So what I'm going to be doing is having one strap this way, and then uh, I'll have the other strap that way. Okay, yeah, something like that. Okay, yeah, this I think this is just barely going to work. I'm just going to have to move things around a little bit until... I get everything just so. Okay, yeah, that's gonna work. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the uh, crane turned around and uh, into position. Okay, that could be a problem because uh, with the triangular legs there, uh, I'm not sure I can get in all the way, but I'll lock this in to uh, the last position and then uh, see where we end up. I might have to get a bunch of friends over to uh, help me rather than use the crane. Uh, I'll give it a try though.
Okay, I hadn't noticed it, but the battery went uh, dead on my camera, so I'm not sure what, how much I got. But I was able to uh, get it out. And uh, now what I'm trying to do is lift it up high enough. Actually, I'm going to move it over to the near the table. And then the question is whether or not I can lift it up high enough. And the answer is no. Um, I can't get it up on the table directly. Um, the question is, I might be able to... No. I'm going to have to get some uh, friends over to uh, help me get it up on the table. So I'm going to start dropping it down. And I'm going to drop it down so that it's near the table. Okay, so I had an idea, uh, which is I, I disconnected the straps and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, crank this up to see how much the movement is and to see how that compares to uh, the distance I move, need to move it to get it onto the table. And then what I can probably do is choke this up quite a bit and gain some extra space. I don't think it's going to be enough, but I'm going to measure it and find out. So what I'm going to do is uh, take out the bolt on top here and then uh, let's see let's see if I can get this through yes I can all right and then I'm going to try to um, <clears throat> move this out a little bit and see if I can get this uh, strap uh, even tighter. Okay, <clears throat> so I put the strap over the top here as well as through the clip. Um, so let's see how that does. Okay, not quite as tight as I'd like. Let's see if it's enough. Actually looking pretty good. So let me make sure you can see this better. I'm going to pull the table out actually because I think that'll be easier than uh, moving the uh, Track the feet. Okay, it's almost there. Okay.
So as you can see, the Morgan is uh, nicely in place on the table. And the next thing I need to do is uh, hook up, hook it up to uh, power, hook it up to uh, air compressor, uh, turn it on and uh, try a mold and see how everything works. Uh, but I'm going to be doing that uh, probably this weekend uh, or maybe the weekend after that, depending on how many things that I have to do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up because it helps with the rating system and comment as always. I love comments and I'll answer them as quickly as I can. See you next time.